beautiful morning to all my dear students. How are you all? I hope you all are great. Yes students, in our last class we learned about rotation and revolution of earth. Yes students, what is rotation of earth? Yes, the slow movement of earth on its imaginary axis. Okay, the slow movement of earth on its imaginary axis is called rotation. Okay, then revolution means, yes, the movement of earth on its orbit. Okay, the movement of earth on its orbit around the sun is called revolution of earth. Yes, students, that we all know. Rotation and revolution of earth. Yes, students, today we are going to learn about seasons. Yes, students, we all know summer season, winter season, spring season, autumn season. Is it? Yes, students, what causes seasons? Yes, seasons are caused by the revolution of the earth around the sun. Okay, seasons are caused by the revolution of the earth around the sun. Okay, all of you clear? Yes, students, we all know earth is tilted to one side and here is our equator and equator divided the earth into two halves. What is northern hemisphere? Southern Hemisphere. Once here, when Northern Hemisphere experiences summer, Southern Hemisphere has winter. Similarly, Southern Hemisphere experiences summer, Northern Hemisphere has Winter. Yes, students, there are also other reasons for seasonal change. Okay, students, I already told seasons are caused by the revolution of the earth around the sun. Yes, students, when North Pole is tilted towards the sun in June, here Northern Hemisphere has summer, Southern Hemisphere has winter. Yes, students, around 21 June, sun's rays directly fall on Tropic of Cancer. Yes, we all know some important latitudes that is Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer, Equator, Tropic of Capricorn, Antarctic Circle. Is it? Yes, students, around 21 June, sun rays directly fall on Tropic of Cancer. So, this is called summer solstice in northern hemisphere and here winter solstice in southern hemisphere. Students, June 21, it is the longest day of the year in the northern hemisphere. That means longest day means here day more, night is less. Okay, day is more, night is less. Okay, then uh, shortest day of the year. In southern hemisphere. Okay, here night is more, day is less. Okay, all of you clear. So, June, June 21 is the longest day of the year in northern hemisphere. And June 21 is the shortest day of the year in southern hemisphere. Okay, all of you clear. Yes. Here, around 23 September, sun's rays directly fall on equator. Okay. Around 23 September, sun's rays directly fall on equator. So here, autumn equinox. Autumn equinox. Here, equinox means equal lengths of the day and night all over the world. Here, day and, day and night are equal. Okay, all of you clear? Here, uh, South Pole is South Pole is tilted towards the sun in 21 December. So here Northern Hemisphere has winter, Southern Hemisphere has 
summer. Okay, here South Pole is tilted towards the sun in December 21. So, South, Southern Hemisphere has summer, Northern Hemisphere has winter. Okay, all of you clear. Yes, students, around 21 December, sun's rays directly fall on Tropic of Capricorn. Okay, so yes, we all know. Uh, important latitudes here 20 around 21 December sun's rays directly fall on tropic of Capricorn so this is called winter solstice and winter solstice in northern hemisphere and summer solstice in Southern Hemisphere. Okay, all of you clear. Here, 21 December is the shortest day in Northern Hemisphere. Okay, shortest day in Northern Hemisphere. That is, uh, shortest day is, day is less, night is more in Northern Hemisphere. Okay, then, longest day in Southern Hemisphere. Longest day in Southern Hemisphere. That is, uh, day is more, night is less. Okay, all of you clear. 21 December is the shortest day in Northern Hemisphere, longest day in Southern Hemisphere. 21 March, sun's rays directly fall on equator again. Okay, around 21 March, sun's rays directly fall on equator again. So, this is spring equinox. Yes, we all know equinox means it's the equal length of the day and night all over the world. Okay, all of you clear? Seasons are caused by the revolution of the earth around the sun. Okay, okay students, we will see in our next class. Thank you.